going to make a video to show you how to make bar graphs and or frequency tables out of how people answered each question. Okay, first of all, when it comes to making these bar graphs and tables, you cannot do scaled variables. In other words, let's look at age, right? Age is just a regular continuous variable. It's got regular numbers. You can't do that here. It has to be some kind of group or interval. So let's go back to this and I'll just show you how to do it here. Let's get up here. So now we could do we can't do it with age itself as a continuous variable, but now we did age group, right? So now we have levels of age. See how that is? This is called an ordinal variable. This one we can make a bar graph of how many people were in group one, group two, group three, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, with these respective age intervals. And it's the same for, we could do that with gender. We could do that with marital status. Anything that's got grouping variables or ordinal variables. Okay, I'm, I'm done saying that. But this is how you do it. Ready? Go to analyze. Go to descriptive statistics. Frequencies. And then stick the ones you want in there. I'm going to stick in. I'm going to just stick in a couple of them. Uh, no, 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 no. In fact, I'll just go down here. Boom. Stick in that many. Boom. And then, very important, over here, you want to click charts. You want bar charts. And it's going to give you the frequency tables here. And if you want them in APA formatting, simply click the APA formatting box. Okay? Boom. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. So the first one has them all going horizontally. I hate that. But then here's the frequency tables for each one, right? How many in each one? This is APA formatted, preset, very nice. So here's age by group, gender, marital status, ethnicity. And you'll notice it's got an in count and it's got a percentage of each one. And this is how they answered for all of these. Let's get one of these never. Yes, yes, yes. Here's one, never, seldom, sometimes. Again, it put, tells you how many answered each ones. Some professors like the tables. And then we're going to get down to the bar charts, which I personally like. So age group, right off the bat, you can tell most people were right there in the middle, right? 41 to 50. And gender, right? Much more females. It's just more visually appealing, right? Marital status, ethnicity, religion, etc., etc. So that's how you put in frequency tables that are APA formatted and or bar graphs. Hope this helps. MGZ out.